to educate myself, be convinced myself, this is the real deal, and then I'll get a team and a crew. And if you look decade after decade, they started off with lights in the sky, and then it became craft that might be from other planets, and then nobody discussed the intelligence that was in control of that technology or that craft. Hypnotic regression has been used with many victims to unlock their abduction episode. The question is, is this physical or is this a dream state? Or is this some kind of telepathic state or some kind of event that occurs inside human consciousness or another dimension of reality? He's stuck with someone that never knows that story. Yeah, these kind of researchers I'm a two-time Emmy Award winning director and in the work I've done over the years I've been introduced to a lot of people who are in consciousness expansion whether it was studying with a guru in India for nine years and living in the Himalayas or everybody we know in the so-called seeking truth uh, area of, of exploration, I work with them all. And my personal sense of mission is that the more we talk about it, the more it's okay to talk about it. And so I feel that I can take people's great research and stories, gather them together and tell their story, make it public, so that we can have intelligent inquiry and put all the pieces of the puzzle together. It's kind of like somebody's coming up with some flour, somebody's coming up with some water, another person has some cheese, and another person has some vegetables, and they're all sitting on the table and nobody knows what it is. And I try and pull all this stuff together and I say, look, it's pizza. And so the more we do this freely, the more we do this openly, any, without any sense of ridicule or attack, which has kept the topic down for so many years, I'm the first one to talk about it in a party. I'm the first one to talk about it publicly because it's a discussion we all need to have, if at all, if we're seeking truth. For me, this whole field, whether you call it unidentified aerial phenomenon or life off planet, you know, extraterrestrials, whatever, it all started for me through the path of meditation. And if you look decade after decade, they started off with lights in the sky, and then it became craft that might be from other planets. And then nobody discussed the intelligence that was in control of that technology or that craft. But then they started talking about extraterrestrial intelligence and all kinds, whoever you meet, they've channeled one kind or another. And for me, until we keep going, until we talk about consciousness pure, that there's a field from where everything comes, whether you call it an object like a craft, a car, or, you know, your, your food for dinner tonight, everything comes from one field. And when we all start through meditation or whatever practice you have, to go to the field directly and start identifying with yourself as that, and not just, I'm this vessel, a, a, a sex, a religion, a male, a female, whatever. We've taken infinite consciousness and put it inside this vessel and said, it's just the vessel and nothing outside. Until we take the march of the mind inward to connect with consciousness pure where everything comes from, not only in the known universe, which we only know a sliver of, and not only in the three-dimensional realm where we hang out all the time, but on other levels of density and dimension to realize throughout it all, I exist simultaneously. And as more and more people open the doors, those portals to consciousness, the more those portals will be accessible to us and humanity as a whole will shift to a whole new level of who we are.